My name is Lucas. I don't talk, but I do think. All you have to do is to tune in. You can do it. Just let every other sound fade away. Tuned in now? Great. I'll start over. My name is Rufus. I don't speak English, but I do think in English. So now that you're tuned in, here's my story. I'm a therapy dog. Right, a four-footed therapist. It wasn't what I planned. It just happened. Even though I don't remember my first two years, I'm certain I had a lot of life experience that helped me in my work. When I was about two years old, Liv rescued me through the Terra Foundation. They help golden retrievers find a new home. I have an impression that I was lost and had to live on my own for quite a while. I know I got really thin and flea infested and I was so anxious that I couldn't stand to be left alone. It took a while for Liv to understand that I had PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. I would bark and bark and bark. I dug huge holes in the yard trying to get out. All I wanted was to be with her. Eventually, I trained her to leave me for only very short periods of time until I got used to my new home. I forgot many of the things I knew before I was traumatized. But when Liv took me to a class with other dogs, I remembered right away. I could do everything. I just couldn't tolerate her disappearing around the corner, even though I knew what stay meant. It wasn't long before Liv started taking me to her work. Somehow I knew just what to do and quickly became her co-therapist. I greeted clients when they came to the door. When they felt anxious, I would sometimes ease their stress by letting them pet me. I liked it too. When they felt sad, I came to comfort them. Sometimes I did tricks for them and made them laugh. I love the laughter. And that's how I trained them to give me a treat. A lot of the time, I would just lie nearby, always tracking what was going on. Often they thought I was asleep, but I wasn't. I amazed Liv when she finally realized that I knew when the session was over. I would come sit beside her. She didn't know I could tell time. If a client was afraid of me, I lay on my bed across the room until they became more comfortable. It might take months, but I never pushed it. Then we become best of friends. As a co-therapist, it's important for me to take care of myself, just like the therapist and the client too. So I watch my diet and don't eat too many treats even though I like them a lot. I drink lots of water. I clean myself and get groomed regularly. It always includes a massage, my favorite part. Touching is important and I love it. Now that I'm older, I don't do agility training anymore, but I still play at the park and I take a long walk each day. The only time I didn't was when I sprained my paw. I could fetch for hours and I love to swim Although one time I sprained my tail because I dove into the pool so many times. Did I mention friends? Friends are so important. I've been lucky to have many two-legged and four-legged friends. Recently, my best playmate died and I grieved for over a month. It even affected my work. 
I just couldn't track things as well, and I slept a lot. One day I couldn't even get out of bed. I know Liv was really worried, but I couldn't help it. Now I'm looking for another friend, but I still miss Zazu. She was the love of my life. Sometimes I visit her family, and that helps a lot. Some people don't treat animals very well. People forget that they are animals too. We all have brains that work in somewhat different ways. And that leads us to different perspectives. But we're all aware and alive and have feelings. And our feelings tell us what we like and what we don't like. I'm so glad Liv knows that. She treats me more like a companion than an animal. Like her friend Arnie Beiser said, with every loss, there's an opportunity. I don't know what my life would have been like if I hadn't been lost and then found by Liv and become a four-footed therapist. But I'm grateful for this life I've lived and I can't wait for my next opportunity. I hope you have lots of opportunities in the coming year.